Now that we have our background, it's time to work on some serious shapes. First, let's just merge these background layers. Pinch them all together, just not that line art layer. Let's pinch these. And then let's put that line art layer with the tiger. Let's put that on top by dragging and holding it to the top and then turn it on. Now, just to make sure that we will see everything properly, let's just turn off the background layer for now. Now we are seriously going to get started on our tiger. We want our tiger to be on a separate layer from our background layer. So let's tap the background layer first, that layer eight, and tap the plus. And on this layer, we are going to make use of the symmetry tool. The symmetry tool makes life so easy because whatever you draw on one side of your canvas will also show up on the other side, which is super handy if you want to create a symmetrical tiger, like in this case. To turn that option on, you need to go to the wrench, then to canvas, and then turn on drawing guide. Then here you can go to edit drawing guide. And then here at the bottom, you will find the symmetry option. Right now you'll see that vertical line, which is the symmetry line. Now you'll want that to be in the center of your character. So let's hold this blue circle and place it in the center line. Like in the center of the nose, center of the mouth here. Now it's perfect. Here at the bottom, you can also turn up the opacity of the line or you can change the thickness if you want to be able to see it better. And here under options, you'll also find other symmetry options like horizontal that will change that line to a horizontal orientation. You have quadrant where you can have a, like a four way symmetry, whatever you draw here will also show up here, here, and here. And you have radial, which gives you even more symmetry and it's great to create mandalas for instance, but we will stick with vertical. Unfortunately, it has gone back to the center. So we need to move it again. For us, there we go, it's in the center. And now we can tap done. Now when you go to your layer menu, you will see assisted underneath the layer name. That means that symmetry is turned on in this case. So let's make use of it. Let's grab a brush. We are going to use the smooth lines brush. And for our color, we are going to use this color over here, the second color in the first row. And then let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's go for 50%. And now we are going to follow the outline of our tiger. Now this might take a few tries. Don't worry. Till you have a shape like this, you don't have to follow the line art exactly. Of course, now we have this basic shape for its head. We can drag in the color just like we did with the other shapes So drag in the circle and fill its head. And here at the top, we have those little hairs. We don't need symmetry for that. So then we need to go to the layer. We need to tap it and turn on that drawing assist. So tap it and then turn off drawing assist. And then let's also lower the opacity of the top layer. So we are able to see our shapes. Let's tap the end there and lower it to about 40%. Then we'll go back to this layer. Now let's grab a different brush. Let's use the tapered lines brush. The opacity for this brush is at hundred percent and let's set the size to 15%. And now let's follow these lines to create these little hairs. Color it in just like this. Then let's move on to the ears and its body. We'll do that on a new layer underneath this one. So first we'll tap this layer, then we'll tap the plus, and then we need symmetry here as well. So we can tap this layer and turn on drawing assist. Then let's go back to the smooth lines brush and let's draw the ears. Let's go along that line. It might seem as if the shape is closed and as if you could drag in the color to fill the shape. But if you look at the layer, and if you would turn off the head layer, you can see that this shape is not closed and you can fill it with color because it, it would spill all over. So we need to close the shape like this and then we can drag in the color. Now let's turn that head layer back on and now let's work on the arms. 
you start here make a round shape like this and then along the side of the iPad close the shape and then drag in the color. 